Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to color grade your images using lots in Photoshop and still have amazing skin tones. So, we're going to learn how to color grade and how to still maintain amazing skin tones. Now, with lots of files, you know, people create it from um, working on one image or two images, but the whole idea is you're working to match the skin tone of that particular image. So, when you put it on a new image, there's a possibility that the skin tones might not look really good or they might not look great but sometimes you you like the entire feel of the image and you just want to like you know adjust the skin tones to match that that's what i'll be showing you today now before we get into today's video make sure you check out my digital store i have some amazing lots that i just put out just put out the creative color lots and the tropical color lots the creative color lot has 18 amazing lots 18 yeah that's crazy then the tropical color lots has six so definitely go check out those two packs and i also have my retouching essentials pack and my skin tone lots go check those out and support your boy go support the channel thank you so much anyways let's get straight into this video now the first thing i'll do is come down here to my adjustment or you can go to layer and you can just click new adjustment layer then you can go to color lookup but that's just long you know just click okay that's just really long just come down here and color lookup so now that we have created our color lookup come to load 3d lot and load 3d lot now i'm already in my creative color lots uh, or where i save them on my pc so what i'm going to do is pick the first one that's what we're going to use for this image so now you can see it has changed the image you know some people can just go with this and you know they just love what they see um, make sure your screen is calibrated and color corrected to a certain level so you can see exactly what you're doing and you know that you are you know matching the right colors right now for lots the first thing i'll do is reduce my opacity down to zero the reason why you're doing that is because lots typically just pack this punch you know a lot of them just pack this punch and they just change your image sometimes more than you need it to you know change so what i'm going to do right now is just gradually adjust my opacity till i get to a point where i really like so somewhere around 70 works for me so let's see how before and after now you can say okay you know this image is fine and it looks good and we can move ahead from here mind you this image has been retouched already not like overly retouched but you know you just have to make sure that your exposure is right your image is well edited before you get into color grading so what i'm going to do right now is just work on her skin tones now i can see that it's a little bit red you know and it's not like it's bad it looks good but you know i just want to make it look a little bit more natural right just match the grid so what i'm going to do is open selective color and I'll come to my reds because your skin tones are typically between your reds and your yellows. So it's like oranges, right? So right now with my cyan right here, if I pull down, as you guys can see, I'm adding more reds to my skin tones, right? If I pull up, I'm adding more cyan. And in this situation, I want to add more cyan. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cyan, nothing too much, right? And you see my magentas. If I pull down, I'm adding greens. If I pull up, I'm adding magentas, right? So I'm just going to add some greens to it, nothing too much, and add some yellows. Maybe take this back if I'm adding yellows, okay? Somewhere around here is fine. So this right now looks better to me. It looks more appealing to me than before. So let's see how before, as you guys can see, it was like she has more magentas, or she had more magentas and she had more reds in her skin. So right now that we've added greens, I've added a little bit of sand. You can see it matches the environment uh, better, right? Now, like I said, we can go on and say, oh, you know what, don't color grading this image, but no, we want to go for uh, an image that looks, should I use the word cinematic? Because that, that word is thrown around all the time. So what I'm going to do again is create a new levels adjustment layer. You guys know I love using levels to add contrast to my image, right? And I hold option and just pull till I see that my blacks are clipping. So somewhere around here is fine. Then I'll pull to where my whites are clipping. You guys can see we are getting this image to a place that it looks really, really lovely, right? Uh, another thing I want to do right now is just add a vignette to my image. So I'm just going to come down here to my gradient tool. I already have this set all the time. And I'll hold shift and just drag down. And now I can change my opacity to soft light and just reduce this, right? As you guys can see, she's standing out a lot more. I'm going to zoom out now. So let's see what this looks like. So this is the before of our image and this is the after. Sorry if you could hear any noise. It was just a truck blowing this horn it's crazy but anyway so now i'm going to put this in a group and let's see our before 
an hour after you guys can see how lovely this image looks right now it's really warm really nice i love the feel i love the look you know everything blends in it looks great what i can do is just come down to my color lookup and you know pick another lot file so let's see what two looks like looks good but it has a lot of contrast on it by the way if you're getting the lot files anything that has the plus to it just says that that particular lot has a lot of contrast to it but let's not use two i love how it looks looks great trust me let's look at that again so let's see the before of our image and let's see the after looks really really nice um let's look for something else let's try something else something that does not have um contrast let's okay this looks good now this looks really good but if you can see her skin now looks really green right so if we take out the selective color you see it looks normal and now it looks green so this works for this image but with the selective color turned on because we corrected it for the other image it now looks a little bit green so uh, what i can do is just reduce my opacity somewhere around here it looks fine and for a uh, look like this what i'll do is also reduce my hue saturation for an image like this maybe go to my greens and just reduce my saturation a little bit with my greens so let's see our before and our after before and our after but yeah you guys get the whole idea now this is how you um color grade your images using lots at the same time still maintain having amazing skin tones so let's move to the next image still by my boy flash photography or albert chime because he changed his name <laughs> on instagram like i said go check him out so right now i'm just going to pick a lot let's see what lot are we going to use for this one let's use 16 for this one i think i tried 16 now looks really good i love it but the only problem is it looks really warm so what we're going to do is go to our hue saturation and pick a color so it's reds right so let's reduce the reds in this image you see how before and now after as you guys can see and now we're going to reduce the whole saturation of this image so master saturation just uh just a little bit right and what i'll do again with this image is just add a little contrast to it right because i i love my i love my images looking contrasty okay great so let's see our before and our after before and after i love the colors that i really love how this looks um but it still looks too warm so what i want to do is just add another lot to this so i'm just going to go with something that's a bit muted so i think that's going to be nine yes so this gives this old filmic look right but i'm just going to reduce the opacity of this and for this one that was at 100 i'm also going to reduce the opacity of this so this is what this looks right right now looks really good but her skin you know it's still leaning towards cyans and greens so what i can do is just come to my selective color make sure it's red and just pull it a little bit towards the red and just pull just add a little magenta to it and that's it this looks great so we're going to put everything in the group again command g so let's see our before and our after now color grading with lots it's not just straightforward you know you're not just going to put the lots on your image and your image will look perfect you just have to do a little tweaking to get the image to where you want it to be right so these two images we've worked on look really contrasty so this and this right so let's move to a new image another image you know people that are light skin let's see how this will work here right so what i'm going to do is go to my color lookup again and this time i'm just going to pick two lots that i'll use because i tried this out already so i'm going to pick five click OK now these lots like I said they don't they don't add any contrast to your image so they just the ones without the plus they don't add any contrast so they just look good so just mess with the colors and you know no contrast so this is what this looks like right now it looks really good so um, although this is five so this has like a little bit of contrast to it that's why you can see the plus right here but if we reduce it we can see the colors and yeah it's still contrast but anyways let's add another lot to this let's add 13 to this and see how this looks so right now we can just reduce 
both and let's see our before and our after and what i always love to do is just add a vignette to my image all the time so let's just um zoom out and add a nice vignette to this image uh no right here okay great and now i can just change the overlay to soft light reduce this and this looks great it has this really nice moody look to it right so before and after now for this image you can just draw on one of the tropical lots and they just work perfectly so let's go to color lookup and let's go pick one of my tropical lots and let's just pick five so you guys can see it just works great so if you shoot images like this you can just go pick one of those tropical lots and use them and now let's move to our final image and this image i'm mixing lots again that's one thing you can do just mix lots around reduce your opacity you never can tell how to work so now i'm just going to go to my color lookup and i'm going to pick probably seven so i'm going to go to my creative color lots again creative color lots and i'm going to pick seven right here and click OK and you guys can see it has this um, modern black and orange look to it maybe reduce my opacity a little bit so I can see some of the colors and add my I think the teal and orange one to it so I'm just gonna come to color lookup load 3d lots and add this to it boom see how good it looks but i think i'll take this all the way to 100. yeah i love this better maybe not at 100 just reduce that a little bit reduce this a little bit and we have a look this is our before oh, this are before and this are after i hope you guys have learned something on how to work with lots you can mix them together um yes made a mistake there <laughs> you can mix them together you can adjust your contrast you can use your your selective color to you know just dial down um the greens or the magenta and the skin you, you just do all that and you would have an amazing image right reduce your hue saturation till your image gets to a point where you really like it so all these things are things that you can do in addition to just putting a lot to your image and it will make your image look a lot better pun intended i hope you guys get it anyways thank you so much for watching today's video if you want to use any of these lots head over to my digital store purchase them if you're purchasing them then you're supporting the channel and i can make more videos for you guys and do youtube as full time as possible as i have been doing anyways thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing week peace guys oh oh also make sure you're staying at home and make sure you stay safe because i need you guys to be safe so after this whole thing goes away we can all go out shoot and have the amazing life that we've we've been having anyways thanks so much i'll see you guys in the next video peace